And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Hey, good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray. Now, today, a little different. We have Rock Cod Rick Maxa and Corey Sandin. Uh, unfortunately, Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Sage Sport Fishing are under the weather. So you got the team. You got the A team here from Let's Talk Hookup. All three of us here. We're going to just talk fishing today and have a lot of fun. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat, FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. If you get back to the launch ramp and need extra power to run your electric tool or charge a battery, your San Diego County Ford dealer has the answer. The Ford F-150 truck now has available Pro Power on board to use your truck as a mobile generator. You will find this amazing feature on the Ford F-150 truck so useful in many different ways. What about powering a fridge or freezer to get your fish home? Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer to learn more. They'll be glad to hook you up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Command the road with built Ford Tough trucks. Gear up and head out in a Ford SUV. Or check out Ford's adventurous new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you by you. Or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores. Where the future is for everyone. Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Aftco Filet knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco fillet knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool that gets the job done season after season. Fillet knives from Aftco. Any fish, any water. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Today's going to be a fun show. Yeah, I hope we, uh, Jeff and Rosie will uh, get well. Yeah, and, feel better, uh, guys. Feel better. We we miss you, and uh, you know we can all talk Cedros right? today. Yeah, you know, I was you want to talk I'm about Cedros? About it, yeah. I'd be happy to talk about Cedros uh, and and the phenomenal fishing down there and their uh, uh, awesome operation at Cedros Sport Fishing. But good morning, Corey. Yeah, yeah. good morning. Great to have you. Good morning. I shot a call to Corey yesterday. Go, hey. Come on, we got to put yeah. the whole we got put the whole band together today. Totally, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there. And and, and the fun thing is, is today we're, we're going to do it, and then next Saturday, yeah, exactly. the Christmas spectacular, all three of us plus Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. How so, cool is that? That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah like that'll it. be a good time. I, so I know I told you yesterday, Matt Lamesa was in the tackle store yesterday and told me already, like, hey man, I this is my year. I've 
got my he's I've got, got my contribution that. perfected. He said, "Just wait." So yeah, he's he's calling he's calling out big things. So okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what yeah. happens. Yeah, so that's a challenge out there for the rest of you. You better have your A game yeah. on next Saturday. And I'm going to tell you, we have some awesome, awesome gifts to give away. Uh, Bill Varney threw in a surf fishing. A package includes a rod and a reel and oh, surf fishing yeah. tackle Crazy. and cool. stuff like that. Um, your saltwater guide threw in a, a full scale annual membership, 525 bucks worth. Ooh. Shimano threw in a torium reel. Crazy. I mean, there's, uh, I mean a lot of stuff. That's to, awesome. To give away. So. I'm going to put together, I haven't talked to you about it, but I'm going to put together like a quote unquote like Cedros package kind of thing. Cool. Hey, yeah. Like, like, a, right. like, a, like a $125, $150 Perfect. kind of thing. Cool. An MC yeah. swim bait uh, package. Somebody will be stoked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody would be stoked with that. Yeah, have we ended sure. up yet? Uh, Fisherman's, Fisherman's Landing Tackle? No, I haven't. Okay. Hit you. All right. Yeah, well, you, so. you can count on us. All too. right. Yeah, I got we'll you. No make problem. sure we get you. Yeah, we'll gift card you up. Okay. Gift card you. I'll, I'll find. I'll figure out something. Figure cool. something yeah, out. Yeah. Okay. Count good. us in. I, all right. I did hear a very one very important thing yesterday, Tell and me. you mentioned keep it short. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Keep, keep it short. Good point. Yeah. yeah. And so, and it can be. You know, a song, a poem, a story. I'm like Devo sent me a story. It's a little long, and I told him it's such a good story that um, I'm going to shorten it up a little bit, and and and, and we'll use it. But uh, keep it short, because especially during the show, we don't have time to read them, and uh, the show goes very very quickly, and we we want it to be fun, exciting, uh, only positive stuff. Yeah, and uh, it, I'll tell you, I'm a tip guy. Like that for me tips. does it every year. Like yeah. Some, some cool thing that you could share that like makes somebody else's gig easier what whatever it might be cutting fish rigging tackle how, storing tackle yeah winterizing your gear like i, I like that kind of stuff yes. like anytime i can pick up something or or all of our listeners can pick up something from somebody else who like figured out some tip trick like i'm i'm a hot tip guy i love that kind of stuff yeah i i I was I, I was saying yesterday I was over at Dana Landing in Mission Bay talking to Johnny yesterday, getting some tips from him. And speaking of tips, I asked him. He caught a giant bass at El Salto last year on an MC swim bait, one of those uh, uh, white. And, and I said, okay, I need the heads that you're using because it's specific on those. It's like a boxer head, right? Well, the boxer heads do work well. Yeah, uh, it's a. Uh... I, I don't know how to say it. It's like a weedless style lead head. The eye of the hook where you tie on is all the way forward, mm -hmm. which is the most key important thing in my mind. It's it keeps it semi weedless. It, it's so difficult to explain. When when people think weedless, they think the weed guard, and that's like the hundred percent of the weedlessness. And and the first thing I do is I cut those weed guards off. Do you? It's the first thing I do. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Efren. I, I've told them every time. Yeah. It's just it's the first thing I do. I take a pair of pliers, rip it out. Do you think it inhibits the it bite? Does. It does. Well, it doesn't inhibit the bite. It, it, it absolutely inhibits the action. The action? 100%. Okay. Because right. you've got the drag in that whole package, the lead head with the five-inch viejos rigged up, the drag is from the front. Uh-huh instead of the drag being from the tail end. Mm -hmm. And okay. so it affects the wall, the wall, everything going on. And, it, and it, Afrin's heads have the line tie in the right spot. So like Corey's saying, like, that doesn't mean it's not a good head. Like, right. still love the head, just don't love the, the bristle, the weed guard part of it. Yeah, and I, I mean, some people do just well and just fine with it. Maybe it's a confidence factor mm -hmm. for me, but I definitely, you look at it side by side, you'll notice a difference. Yeah. It, what if you it, yank them all out about one or two? Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely, if you're going to leave it, uh, I, I always take that weed guard and bring it back, bring it toward the hook, and that point, then I take a pair of scissors and cut it. Like, so it's perfectly... Okay, so it's right on the hook. Exactly. Not yeah. past the hook. That Exactly. Okay. Yeah, because a lot of them are like an eighth of an inch or a little bit further in length. And uh, that's definitely a fun one at El Salto, man. Yeah. There was two fish over ten pounds last year. Yes, yeah, from two local guys. Yeah, on, that thing down and, there. And, on uh, and it was the what is it the the five inch viejo? It's or? a five inch viejo, and I just it's just like a a pearly white on the bottom, yeah. with like a gray silver glitter in the back, and okay. it just it works, man. I just don't a know general bait fish color. It it it's just very generalish yeah. at all, you know. And uh, three quarter ounce head. Three quarter ounce. There's even uh, I I don't I mean I'll tell you exactly what I was throwing. I went with Luke last year. We had a phenomenal bite on the same exact thing, except I was throwing a six inch. 
Oh. A six inch swim bait, the standard six uh-huh. inch. Deeper belly. It's a lot of plastic and it's just a bigger looking uh, offering altogether. But I was using an ounce and a half lead head. Oh, Whoa, really? I know. So it kind of blows dr- your mind a little a dr- bit. A dredger. Well, yes, but it, we were only fishing five to 15, 20 feet of water at the very mm-hmm. most. And what that allowed me to do. And, and, and this will, it'll all ring with you when I tell you, I, I would be able to throw in eight feet of water and start winding mm-hmm. and have the lure down three or four feet. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Yes. Ah. And I, I was getting bites right at the boat. Like literally. They'd trace it right to the boat. You'd watch them eat it. Yeah. Like, yes. Because wow. with that ounce and a half, you're, you're down in, in the three to four sure. feet of water column right at the boat. You still using the pearly white? The same exact color. Same yeah. color, yeah. Yeah. In fact... Is that like like mimic a shad or a tilapia I, or it's, something? Or? It's just... Th- I, I, I don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> a it, shad, I guess. But it swims good. It does. Yeah. And it just gets their attention and they eat it. They, yeah. And there's no BS. I mean, they... <clears throat> excuse me. It's not like a spotted bay bass, you know, tick, tick. Yeah. It's a, it's a down the gullet, oh, like, cool. solid, like, rod-bending bite. Yeah. yeah. Now, ounce and a half leadhead, did you have, do you have any more or less issues with them throwing it? Because, you know, that's a, that's a lot of rubber and a lot of leadhead. Like, when they come up and jump around, are there more issues? Or, or you getting your bites close enough to the boat that a couple turns of the handle and you got them? Like, it's, they eat it so deep, you're, you're you on. Got them. You're done. That's cool. Yeah. And we did the same thing at... Uh, we tried the same thing at Picachos, and uh, the ounce and a half was too heavy. Okay. You know, it was just too heavy of a deal, and uh, the three-quarter to one ounce on the five-inch VA was, was like right. Yeah, that it was, was, it was like the perfect offering. Yeah. Plain- there's, there's so many, like, two to three-pounders there. I want to go there. Right? God, I, I mean, it's there. so yeah, much fun. Sounds like That's a fun cool. spot. I was talking to Norman about it, and uh, it's just, it's, it's a neat place, you know? Yeah. It's just uh, different. Yeah. It's numbers. How many fish did you catch in I know, four days? <laughs> Rick, Rick, Rick and I talked about it. It's so crazy. And the, and the number is no BS. The the uh, guide wore a clicker, and he clicked every single fish that came to the boat. Four full days of fishing. We had 908 bass. <laughs> 908. <laughs> in four days like, of fishing and, with two and, people. In four days. And how many doubles did you have? And a double does not mean well, both there's... guys are hooked up at the same time. We're talking... That that was countless amount of time. Uh-huh. Seriously, uh, where both of us were hooked up, there were uh, at least several times a day where I had two fish on one crankbait. Yeah, double, you know, if, if, double. If, if one on each hook, one on each hook. And <laughs> and if it was the the four inch weedless I was throwing, there were times where you could have had two hooked that way too. But you've only got one hook. One hook. Yeah. <laughs> That's so rad. Could have thrown a trailer hook on there, oh, right? You, you you probably could have. Yeah. I, I can only imagine like a double. A double rig. Yeah. Can right. you imagine? Oh, my God. True. So right, right, like Guaranteed. Two offerings yeah. at one time. Yeah. So, you, so you're going to um, El Salto with Cass. Cass I can't wait. I mentioned man. it. The uh, trip is now sold out. Yeah. Uh, what are so you gonna much th- fun. What are you going to throw in January? When I, the last time I was there with uh, Cass, we absolutely ruined them on the four-inch weedless. Wow. Like, and that's not always going to be the deal, but somewhere at some point it will be. Yeah. Uh, that trip, it just... The water was right. The water was slightly... So it was up on the surface. All on the surface. Like wow. on the bank, like through the junk. Like we had, a, a, I guess you'd call a pattern. Uh, the water was kind of high, but El Salto's kind of weird. I'll lay it out for you. There's, uh, if the water's down 10 feet, there's not a lot of bank structure. Mm-hmm. But when that water drops, there's so much bank growth the the heat down there the 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 weeds and the trees on the bank will grow five feet yeah like instantly. things grow quickly very quick so the water drops it loses water those die off during the hurricane season the water floods again so now all that uh three to five feet of tree and brush growth is now covered up with the water oh. do you get it uh-huh. so it only drops three four five feet you're in the middle of that junk on the bank. Yeah. And that little four inch was like ridiculous. They were hanging out in the, in, in that cover. And well, not only that, but all the little tilapia and everything that comes with it. Oh, so given that perfect scenario, if the water was like five or six feet lower, all that stuff would have been out of the water. Uh Aha. You you get it. And there's, and there's the water fluctuates like crazy down there. Yeah. So you'll watch a drop 
eight to 10 inches, 12 inches in a day. That's yeah. crazy. It's super crazy. That happened to us at Picachos. They're 100% that water is for irrigation. Yeah. The only reason they make those dams, it's not for drinking water. It's not for, it's, it's for, not for bass fishing. <laughs> it, exactly. Right. I mean, thankfully Billy Chapman and senior and he had the, uh, uh had it within him to, man, this could be like the craziest bass yes. fishery ever, yeah. ever, you know, and he put, a, he put it all together and his son's reaping the benefits yeah. and he's doing it. And sure. It's just a killer deal, but that it's all for irrigation. So yeah. when they get the hurricane rains and it, it'll come up five feet in a day. And when they're using it for irrigation, it goes down a foot in a day. Now, I was in Zihuatanay a couple weeks ago, and it was the greenest I've ever seen it down yeah. there. So they had a super wet uh, summer season, which is their wet season. Yeah. Right. So that probably means the water's going to be up. It I'm it was guess. pretty high, yeah. It's super high at both, yeah. actually. Yeah, at, yeah. at Picachos, it was uh, I was up. Super high. Yeah, yeah. at Picachos, and then El Salto was at the was spillway this too. year. Yeah. yeah, so right. So, so I can't wait to hit it. But in a month, it could be way down because they're irrigating those crops. Seriously, so, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it could be ten, fifteen feet lower for sure. Yeah, yeah, wow. which, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. It, it, when it's high water and all that fish is flooded into the brush, there's. Uh, how many just give it 50 miles of shoreline yeah right so yeah. when the water's down it might only be 30 miles of shoreline sure and and that fish is condensed yeah i love Fun. it man i, I can't go, wait Ricky? oh my god i'm so pumped yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely want to do a picacho sometimes i have to talk yeah. to Cass about putting up picachos yeah together. brandon at the tackle store i mean he's gone with Corey and yeah. he's been a bunch of times and said the same thing you know like uh the Salto so cool. Salto's cool in the same way that like fishing in Hawaii or somewhere like yeah. that is cool. Is that like at, at Lake El Salto at any point, yeah. at any time, anywhere with any lure, you have the potential of hooking a giant one. Yes. You know, I mean, a, a legitimate ten pound giant one. Uh, and he's always said that Picachos is so cool just for the for for a, well, I mean, obviously, who who doesn't like yanking and cranking on fish? But also such a great way to like you know, increase your game. If you want to be a better jig fisherman at home and you want to fish a jig down there, like you're going to get tons of bites and you're going to learn to feel a bite and you're going to feel what it's like to crawl across a rock and then stop and have a fish bite it. And whatever you, whatever kind of game you want to perfect, you can, you know, you're going to get opportunity after opportunity after opportunity on there. But yes, I'm pumped. I can't wait. Yeah, for it, sure. It's a neat place. It's different. And the cool thing, I mean, they don't sponsor the show. They don't, no. they, it's not a gifted trip. It's no. not, I mean, I'm paying full, full rack sure. and, and it's that good of a time, you yeah. know, and it's, like we mentioned when I was on air with Rick, uh, co-host, and we talked about the fly fisherman coming in. It's like that a, sounded cool. It's like the perfect scenario for, for that, a fly really. fisherman. Yeah. yeah, and those guys from Montana. Because there's lots of fish. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's just friendly and that kind of a deal yeah. for sure. Well, fun. What about local bass fishing? Cold water's a little cooler than normal for this time of the year. Has it, it affected it? I haven't touched the the local scene in probably six months. Wow. Yeah, it just it's something I I don't know. I just yeah. I get busy doing my thing. Sure. And, I think what grabbed me was the the mahi season that we had. I yeah, mean, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Corey Sandin going offshore, offshore yeah. filming yeah. eleven, right? <laughs> right? Catching I tuna, know. catching dorado. I know it yeah. just it 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 wrecked my world in a good way. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that's cool. That's I good. couldn't help it, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it wrecked all of us. I know it, it was just an incredible. Uh, you can almost call it an inshore offshore season right yeah. it was so close and and but, like but what do you hear you're obviously selling a lot of baits because mc's been very busy yeah it's been super busy for sure so guys catching it's it's been good we know sports uh, barber has been catching yeah absolutely and you know in that neck of the woods uh rusty brown won the u.s open and 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 that kind of a caliber of a freshwater guy he's been fishing up there at dana point in the harbor there and catching spotties that's and, cool and uh such a nice guy white yeah, sea bass busted, yeah. we, we should have him on the radio yeah sometime. oh yeah we've yeah. had yeah, him he's, he's, he's been really on good. a couple yeah. times he's yeah. cool I, I like him su 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 super uh knowledgeable and super cool but he's been fishing up there catching uh those small white sea bass and barracuda and stuff in the harbor and having a good time. Yeah. You know? Just getting a little taste of what we have in our saltwater scene with the calicos and everything. So if you're going calico fishing in the local kelp beds, whether it be Dana Point, Newport Beach, uh, Palos Verdes, or San Diego, what are you fishing this time of the year? Well, it's, it's a little more difficult than it would be in June, right? Yeah. So it's just like... Almost a guaranteed if you're in 50 feet of water and you go down to 40, 
to 50 feet, you're going to get a bite. It's almost guaranteed that way, but I, I can't handle it. It's I've not, got, it's not, it's not my style. Yeah, it's not, not Corey. Right? Yeah, I know. I, I so that had Viejo, swim bait. I, I'm not sure. I mean, if I was going to go out right now, I, I'd probably stick to that 30 to 50 feet of water okay. and try to try to get them to come up to the surface somehow ounce you know? and a half lead head for the average guy the non quarry yeah, surface guy to to send a guy out of fisherman's landing right here to go in and buy a couple baits and and go out would definitely be a, a one ounce lead head five inch viejos or that uh, even a four inch swim bait and and just get as low as you can you want to get a ton of bites right now i would get an a rig with uh no. four inch mc swim baits and uh all like half ounce lead heads you will okay. absolutely Reckon. get bites everywhere you go, and you can fish that thing up shallow and catch. I I really like fishing my a rigs with four inch MCs because it's a small bait that's like a small in you know in around the pilings bait fish that spotties will absolutely clobber, but it's still a plenty big target, especially when you got you know three four five baits on it that uh, and you know a bunch of half ounce lead heads, so plenty heavy enough that you could fish that thing right on the channel edge couple more bucks for sure i mean you're you know you're talking committing buying four or five lead heads at a time and you know and buying an a rig and swim baits i mean it's not the cheapest and you don't want fish like tackle on that no and it it can and will and does snag up so there's that negative part to it but man you want to talk about getting clobbered this time of year that that's it really yeah for sure so and and so you're talking about four or five are they did they make the a rigs with different number of baits on it or do you just put those number of baits on the a rig I mean, everybody Everybody makes a different ones. In freshwater fishing, correct me wrong, Corey, three, you're allowed to have three hooks in the freshwater, well, I think. Well, don't take my word for it, but I think it's two. I don't know. It might be three. Yeah. It's, it's, saltwater is different, though. T- totally. That, yeah. Well, that's what I was getting at is different manufacturers make them different ways. The most common ones have four to five arms on them, and often they all just terminate in some sort of a snap swivel. So if you were, if you were fishing in a body of water where you couldn't have hooks, like you, you can most certainly have you know, four or five hooks, fishing bass and saltwater. Yes, there is a two hook regulation, you know, fishing, uh, rock fishing, different things like that. But uh, you, you definitely can fish that thing with all the hooks on it, fishing for bass, can't have any rock fish on board the boat. Um, but you could also just, you know, fish a decoy bait. You could fish the exact same. If you were worried about it, you could fish the exact same half ounce lead head and grab your pair of side cutters and cut your hook off flush at the you know, at the at the top of the bait, like if you didn't want to have all the hooks on it. But most of them are going to come so with like four or five arms on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A yeah, decoy type bait. And, and then I've heard guys usually use like a five inch swim bait. You know, if they've got all fours and they put a five in the like trailing by four inches sure. you know, or something, that, that that's usually the one that with the main hook. Or, or you'll see like if it's got five arms on it, you'll see all four the same color and one a, a different color. You know, you got four bait fish baits and then one, you know, chartreuse one or some, something like that. You know, I've seen a lot of guys like to go with something that they side. eat that thing man it's crazy but it's so not my style i know i, I know it's not i know like, it's yeah not. but if you want to catch fish oh, like me it totally would be my style yeah. oh, like, i'll take hey, it yeah if you take that it, you went and saw johnny or, or rick down here and got that rigged up and fished mission bay or fish san diego bay you're gonna be on you're gonna no get doubt. on oh no you doubt. will be on so, so let me ask you this a rig does it work at el salto and picacho oh 100 <laughs> percent. yeah Are you kidding me? I, I witnessed brandon <laughs> yeah. the man from uh the tackle shop you mean the world's greatest fisherman. yeah we and yeah. we had tough fishing at el salto it was just one of those uh days and he pulled that thing out and oh yeah he's <laughs> he's on like how big a bait's in four inch still i think it was three inch yeah he, threw he likes on the three skinny inch. one yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, the little ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Which again, I mean, I I was just saying that I like that four inch because you could just do everything with it. There's sure. no doubt. Like you can, you can tweak on everything at every level. You know what I mean? And and uh, you can have a skinny wire. And I think Corey calls it a two and a half inch bait. We always call it well, a three inch skinny one. Like the I, only so that there's not like a, a con- designation a, difference, a conflict in ordering. Yeah, right? I get because it. I totally the, get it. That little skinny tiny three inch is. Uh, three inch and or like 2.99 and, and the, one fish per well like, no the the the, 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 what, the regular three inches what i call a, a three inch swim bait is like 3.1 inch yeah and so there's a small variation but they're basically the same length so totally. I, I just call it a two and a half yeah but it is three but i was saying like you can have a skinny wired arm you know like yeah. a light wire arm with those little baits on it, and it's like the perfect finesse little bait fish rig or, or you could have, you know, big five inches and one ounce. You know, I mean, you can, you know, you could make an A rig do whatever it, it was sure. that you wanted to. 
again, you know, you got to put those things, you got to put them where the fish live. And that includes hanging bottom and hanging the edge of the channel and hanging pylons. And like, you know, now you're busting off five lead heads at a time and five swim baits and a, you know, so it, yeah. it's part of it, but, but yeah, you can, you can make that thing. You can make that thing a small freshwater finessey fish with a bunch of small baits that a 12 incher will eat or, or a big old thing that a six pound sand bass laying on the bottom can't resist. Yeah. I, I don't want to give up too many secrets, but I know, <laughs> I know guys that were thrown at a rig. I know a guy. I know a guy. I actually, I know a handful of guys <laughs> that were thrown at a rig in like the Bay Bass style tournament. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. And getting them. But, yeah. but imagine doing that in 30 to 50 feet of water. Like, like Rick just said, yeah. ha- hanging up a, a fifty to seventy five dollar yeah total rig sure. right yeah and it's like darn and, it oh yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> you're bummed you're going yeah. backwards and pulling from every angle yeah. to try and get that thing down but I think that has probably accounted for several wins sure I'm or at least for sure like okay. like the top five at least five or six times I know of it's just sure. a, and it's a cool way it's something different and cool and fun and and the other thing that's that cracks me up about is it takes like it takes every conception that you had about having to be light line and finesse and throws it out the window you know here's this big thing with coat hanger wire yeah. and blades and a bit you know and like crap everywhere and like they crush it you know what yeah. i mean so it's fun it's different like oh I, yeah i love stuff like that i like different stuff well as you can hear we have a great show lined up for today a lot to talk about here with rick and Corey, and myself uh it's open open forum anything you want to know anything you want to ask uh these two guys got the knowledge for sure. And I'm just hanging out. And I want to talk Cedros today fun. too. Like I, 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 yeah, for sure. I, I know Jeff and Rosie are coming back. Yeah. I know it's all our favorite. Yeah, they're place coming to go. back in February. Good, yeah. but but I want to talk some Cedros today too. Yeah, man. it's gonna oh, have, yeah. let, let's have some fun, and uh, it's just gonna be a great time. And I, I love so much these shows, uh, Pete. And it's so good to have you join us. Corey and I always geek out and have a I great know. time. Well, that's what I thought. Well, let's do. It I know. Together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, don't do that very often. We, we always uh, have a really good time doing it. I'm really fun to do it with all of you, and it's just gonna be a great time. If you want to join us this morning, like Pete said give us a call 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 that's the number to reach us on let's talk Hook up as always text is totally an option i'm sure we're gonna have a busy day on texting if you want to text the show that's only available through the let's talk hook up app free download all the great stuff we can't say enough about the app adam does such a great job whether it be archive shows whether it be a heads up on a cool event coming up whether it just be a a, you know a way to call the show you know there's an option you can call directly through the app or text the show we always say too, make sure you include your contact info uh, so we can get a hold of you at the end of the show because you might be the winner of today's prize. And what a killer prize we're giving away today. A full day trip going fishing on board the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing. You might be the first guy to jump on that boat after their maintenance period, get in on that great yellowtail. You might hang on to that thing and wait until they're offshore fishing for tuna. Whatever you want, you're going fishing with Captain Matt, Captain Booger on the San Diego. Such a cool prize. If you want to get through, give us a call again, 213-432-1090. And we come back, we're going to be taking those phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Long range fishing, nothing beats Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body when throwing jigs. The Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. With the extreme cranking power and Shimano Super Free Spool provides extreme castability. You'll be able to put your jig in the Wahoo Zone. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I'm here to announce the return of the Hall Family Shows to Southern California. 2023 will see the first Hall Family Show in San Diego in four years, the first Hall Family Show in California in three years, and the first outdoor recreation show in Southern California in 2023. It will be the Bart Hall Show, February 16th and 19th at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. 
and it's going to be spectacular. Then we move to the Bard Hall Show, March 29th to April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Since 1946, millions of happy family memories have been made at this show, and more will be made this year. We thank Turner's Outdoorsman for sponsoring our 75th anniversary celebration. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Bart Hall Shows, presented by Progressive. And remember, it's a whale of a show. Here's the hot tip on the best fishing L.A. has to offer. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. They are home to L.A.'s finest open party fleet, including overnight on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half-day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three-quarter day trips on the Sea Angler. For your own private charter, we have the Outrider and True Line available. There's always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or on the web at 22ndstreet.com. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, Pinnacle Sport Fishing. Visual signs are one of our most important aspects to our charter fishing business. It's the reason myself and all of our crew all wear Costa sunglasses. With advanced polarization technology, Costa is designed to help cut through the sun's glare by providing enhanced color and comfort to help you see more fish. Costa was founded over 35 years ago by a group of fishermen wanting high-performance lenses for every fishing application. Costa has a West Coast-style frame and lens for your pursuit. Check them out at costasunglasses.com. Welcome. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Having a great time here this morning. Having fun. Woo. Great time. Yeah, Texts are coming through. I know. <laughs> Phone calls are coming up. through. I wonder, like, man, I wonder how it's going to go. And they're like, okay, it's going to go just fine. Yeah, it's going to go just <laughs> fine. Yeah. yeah you, uh, again, um, if you were hoping for uh, Rosie and Jeff from Sedro Sport Fishing, uh, they're under the weather, and we're wishing them get well, and uh, they'll be back in February to be on the show. But uh, in the meantime, you're stuck with uh, me, Rick, <laughs> and Corey. Just open forum, anything you want to talk about, just having fun. And we definitely talk Sedro's fishing, too, if you Why want to Why not, do that, man? So, That's like good times yeah. right there. Calico yeah. and... And some uh, good, good yellowtail. God, the yellowtail fishing down there was incredible, right? I, I can remember. But yeah, well, yeah, spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah. I can remember without question my favorite moment at Cedros. Uh, then back back in the day was Cedros Adventures, now so appropriately named Cedros Sport Fishing Pete. And it was the first time we got to ever sneak down there with uh, Adrian and Tom Green. And Tom Green, yeah. And uh, it was the kind of tester run before there was ever an operation. It mm-hmm. was like, hey, you guys do this kind of stuff. Like, come down and see if, uh, if if this is a viable thing. Clearly, it was awesome. But it was on a commercial ponga. And we were down there real early. I think it might have even been in April. April. It was and, April, yeah. And uh, it, was, it was windy, and there was bass fishing. Um, and we pulled into a cove. And it was just the typical thing that I love about Mexico, our pongero... Our Pongero's dad worked there, and his buddy worked there, and we pulled up in the Ponga, and like I think we gave some limes to a buddy, and then his dad was diving for abs, and his other buddy had this, and we you know, met this guy and gave him this, and we met that guy and gave him that, and he co- pulls up with two abalones and uh, ate sashimi uh, abalone mm-hmm. out of the shell at Cedro. He had those wow. wasabi had a, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. He had it, put a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of um, uh, uh, wasabi in yeah. the shell, cut it up all And we're kind of, Rick and I are kind of raw I mean, abalone, don't, really? Don't you need you to know? pound this thing out yeah. a little bit? Like, dude, it's so good. cold Pacifico in Mexico, oh, so great good. buds down yeah. there. That was like the sundowner thing. And I was like, that's it, man. This is a, Sold. this is a magic place. I'm in, yeah. I'm in forever. And I can, without question, that was my favorite part of being down there. That was yeah. really cool. There's a lot of great parts about being at Sedro Sport Fishing. No it's doubt. magical. The, the, it's, it's a magical place. And yeah. it's so close. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's far enough away. Exactly. But yet so close yeah you, and easy you, and they've made it rosie and, yeah. and the gang over sage Sportfish sport fishing made it so easy with the cbx walk across the border get on the the chartered flight 
you're there in an hour and a half. Rick and I talked about this a, a few weeks ago, but have you been through the CBX in the last six months yes. or so? Yeah. It has completely changed. Oh, yeah, changed. I know. It's way easier. Way easier. Yeah, like, like way, if way, you way bring easier. a rod tube, you don't have to go into the main terminal anymore. You, you, you can you, check it in. You can check it in yeah. on, on the regular terminal. Yeah. yeah, which is great. Super sweet. Yeah, that's good. Hey, let's go live on the yeah. tribute again. Uh, we had a great report from Captain Mike yesterday on the tribute. Are they still biting, Mike? Yeah, you know, we just got in this morning. It was extremely, extremely good fishing. We uh, <laughs> we ended up with 56 bluefin, uh, basically limits. We we were too shy of limits, but we had a kid who didn't want to keep any fish. Uh, very, very good bluefin fishing. Big uh, big fish is probably 65 pounds. Come on. Um, it sick. sounds like a little bit better grade of fish than what had been out there. We we saw a lot of 40 to 60 pound fish. Um, I know there was a lot of 20 to 40 uh, pounders earlier on, but it, it seems like it moved up a notch. Very, very good fishing, flat, greasy, calm. We uh, got in on some good rockfish action before the end of the year. Nice reds. Uh, Adam Williams from the New Orleans, he had to, he had to be special in one aspect, and he had a, about a 20, 25-pound link cod. Hitchhiker. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, that, he was he was definitely more stoked about that than uh, than the bluefin. But uh, very, <laughs> very good fishing. Here. Ah, oh, it was good. He he knew it right away. He was winding up a little green stripe, and that thing jumped on, and thankfully hung on all the way to the boat. So cool. Well, uh, it, yeah, no, no, really, really fun fishing. Really good group of guys. Um, yeah, I got in this morning. Got a call from Maliar on the uh, Player Supreme. Uh, he had extremely good fishing here last night in a little different area. So we're throwing a trip on for Tuesday night. Um, try to get one more in here before uh, before the end of the year. But I think. Um, Talking to him this morning, it sounded like he had limits of bluefin uh, in the dark, a little bit closer to home. So we're going to try to do one more of these things on Tuesday night. Mike, that's so rad. Way to keep it going. And I mean, we're we're mid December now. You know, we're, we're approaching late December. Like, it's and Christmas yeah. next a <laughs> yeah. one week away. A week away. Yeah. yeah. And I think on top of all of that, Mike, I think the uh, Santa Ana. I think you're like yes. You're hitting it right Just on target. Perfect right? weather. Perfect weather. Yeah. I mean, aside from being freaking cold in the uh, in the <laughs> harbor here this morning, it um, our yeah our weather was re- ridiculous and. Yeah, it's funny because you look on the the forecast throughout the week, especially um, down the Baja coast here a little bit. And I'm like, oh man, it's getting windy, and I look, what windy is right now is 12 knots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is nothing on a big boat. That's so cool. No, and it, yeah, three or four foot swell. Now the weather's supposed to be really nice. Uh, we have some guys on this trip that were interested in trying to come back out, so we're throwing up a trip Tuesday night, uh, leaving out of Seaforth Landing 7 p.m. Uh, we're we're gonna. Do a pizza port sponsored one on this one as well. It's just too good not to. So, uh, free pizza uh, before departure and half off pizza port beers. Um, I, it just it sounded too good. I, Elliot called me twice before five o'clock this morning. He goes, "Man, these things are biting." And I was like, "Oh man!" I said, "Okay." He goes, "They're fifty to ninety pounders." He goes, oh, we, "We didn't have a whole lot of participation. Everybody that was up was hooked up all all night." And I'm like. All right, let's do it. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Man. Well, how does somebody get on the tribute if they want to go fish and catch some Christmas bluefin on Tuesday night? Uh, 619-224-3383 is Seaforth Landing. Uh, you can book through tributesportfishing.com, seaforthlanding.com. And uh, I'll have the rest of our pictures up here shortly on our uh, on our Facebook page. So, uh, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Like, yeah. uh, Mike, probably, Mike, Jim. Jim was talking about uh, Captain Rambo about the fishing that he had the week before. W- was it similar uh, on this bite? Fly line fishing, a little bit lighter line, same same type of deal, or did that change? Uh, we we had you know we we ended up getting squid. We had fish on squid, probably sixty percent of them. Um, we had uh, you know guys guys getting them on eighty pound if they wanted to. But yeah, fly line and a bait twenty five pound flora was was the hot ticket. Uh, we did get a fair amount on sardines and. Sounds like that other stuff's going to be a lot, a um, lot of jig fish as far as the nighttime goes, and right. you know it's kind of a new body of fish, so it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, during the day here. Huh? Wow, well, cool! A new body of fish in Christmas. Yeah, yeah. 50, fifty to ninety pounders. Not, <laughs> nothing like uh, one up in the size again. Yeah, yeah it's so rad. Gotta love it. Great job, Mike. Appreciate the report, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, maybe a, a, a Christmas Eve uh, report from your trip on Tuesday night. Huh? How about that? 
Yeah, sounds good, man. We'll, we'll see you guys. We'll check back in. Thank you. All right. You, hey, Mike. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Speaking of of which, uh, I should go over our Christmas schedule. Of course, next Saturday, our Christmas spectacular with uh, the three of us and Captain Mark Wish, where we're giving away a lot of great, great stuff. And then next Sunday, a week from the day, Christmas Day, we're gonna, uh, we won't be live, uh, so no calls, no texts, uh, but we will have a a recorded Christmas show, which I put together. It's already in the in the box and. And it has some great highlights on there. Some old guys that aren't with us anymore, and some uh, some uh, some highlights from. I think I, I grabbed from 2011, 2012, 2013, so 2014, cool. some stuff like that. And then now, same thing for New Year's Day, a recorded show. But uh, we will be here New Year's Eve with Captain Tim Ekstrom. Corey and I will be here. Ricky will be on his way to the to uh, a little vacation yeah. with the baby in Hawaii and, <laughs> and, uh, and Dallas. But uh, Corey and I and Tim Exner will be here New Year's Eve and then uh, recorded show New Year's Day and Christmas Day. Um, without letting the cat out of the bag. And if you just say, hey, you got to wait and find out, that's totally fine. But did you have a favorite segment from putting that together? You know, I... That was tough. And so I kind of moderated it. You know, I'd recorded some moderations like here's here's some stuff. Um, there was a lot of good stuff. You know, it was really cool to hear um, the fabulous fishing high towers, Richard Hightower. And he was so great and so uh, so classic. But, uh, you course, know, we, we've course, had so many years of Dale and yeah. uh, uh, that, you know, you kind of forget that it back in the day yeah. it was Richard and Dale. It was big and it daddy. Was, yeah, exactly. Big like, daddy. And, and Marty coined fun. the phrase uh, fabulous fishing high towers. Um, Dennis Braid was cool to hear. I'll because, bet. you know, Dennis was always classic and uh, always handsome. Oh, big personality and always creative with new things and stuff like that. But, of course, my favorites was hearing my buddy uh, Jack Nielsen's voice again. Oh, and, bet. Uh, that, was, that, that was a, yeah, that was cool. a good one for sure. So a lot of that, all that's in uh, part of that Christmas Day show, and there's a lot more. I haven't even started the, the New Year's Day show. <laughs> that's, that's this week's project. So it takes a lot of time to put them all together. I can't but, imagine. But... Uh, they're really fun to hear old shows. Yeah, because you're going through two hours worth of show to steal, you know, whatever, however long yeah. the segment is, and then you got to go through another two hours to get the next one. I mean, yeah. I'm sure that's a ton of work, but no, I'm really no. looking forward it, to it, it. It's fun. It's fun. But uh, so stay tuned for that. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, one week from the day, the Christmas Day show uh, recorded. And I want to thank our good people over at Sports Grid, JP, who is on the board today, Christian, who was on the board yesterday, uh, for he, they get the day have a day off too. Nice, so right on. That's, that's a good thing. So. Well Dessert. Um uh real quick here uh what rod uh Dave wants to know what rod reel gear ratio do you like for an A rig? I think that's a very very good question cuz I would have this. It's a really question. good question. Yeah. Yeah. Um again, I guess it depends a little bit on how big and all that kind of stuff, but in in general, heavy duty. Yeah, in gen- exactly. <laughs> in general, fishing sand bass in San Diego Bay like I like to do, I I'm a I'm a longer rod guy, I like an 8 foot um I like an 8 foot rod. Uh, like a um, and a and a Tranks three hundred. Um, I, I go back and forth on line setup. Um, whether it be uh sixty five pound um Power Pro uh slick generation two, like that's my favorite Spectra uh right now. Or um, sometimes I like to use a uh like a castable fishable fluorocarbon. Um, Tatsu happens to be my favorite. Uh, I love braid in that it's very direct, and when you got a lot of line behind the boat and stretched out, and you get a bite and you swing, it's direct drive, and you're putting the hook into them. You can don't be have scary, that stretch. Though. It can be scary, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it uh, Spectra just floats weird in the water. And if you're trying to fish like Corey's talking about, thirty to fifty feet, you don't stay in the strike zone for as long as you would like to. Um, you know, you get a lot of lift out of those rigs, especially if you're fishing one that's got blades and things on it. Like you start turning the handle, that thing wants to start coming, climbing up to the surface faster and a fishable fluorocarbon like a Tatsu or an Invisex or a Brazex, something like that from Seaguar, um, it sinks and that line, uh, tends to stay down better. So you stay in that lower water column strike zone for a longer period of time. But for me, eight foot rod, like a Terramar 80 MH to an 80 H and a Tranks 300. And I go back Corey, and forth between you, Braid and Floro. Uh, well, I'm definitely not throwing the A-Rig. So, yeah. but, <laughs> You're not throwing it. But, that's but, right, yeah. but you do have to use heavy. I mean, that, yeah. that's the whole yeah. thing. And a 300 uh, size reel, minimal. And, and what's what's pound fluorocarbon are you putting on there? Uh, 20. 20 pounds is what okay. I like. 15 or 20. Okay, you know, but why? Okay, so if you why not put 60 on it? 
I mean, they're going to bite it, right? You sure. Uh, you, you're not going to get much line on our, on the reel, and yeah. we're, we're trying to fish. Deep. But if you're fishing straight, uh, straight like you said, like in Vizex or, yeah. or, or Tatsu or something Right. Like that. Th- this, this isn't for the bite reason. I mean, it's honestly, sink, I, I don't think, I don't think you would fish card. 60 because there's no, you know, you're not trying to get, you know, you're not usually like Corey taught us that, or at least he sure, for sure taught me that, you know, fishing heavy, fishing heavy for calico bass. You, you get a ton of longevity out of it. You're not going to get bit off. But on, on that particular scenario, the A-Rig, you're fishing direct wire. You know, there, yeah. is, there is no need for that. Um, and Yeah, uh, you don't need any stealth. Yeah, you're not, yeah, exactly. There's no stealth, and you're just not going to get enough line on the reel. Maybe, gotcha. maybe it prevents you from losing that rig, but, you, you know, it would be more moderate. You'd have to fish something heavier. Like, you, you just couldn't get enough line on your reel. Gotcha. Put, put that much on there. My thought, anyways. Yeah. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. More of your phone calls. We're going to check in with the Catch Report, find out what's biting. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Cookup on the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio. All right. This is Pete, and I hear it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top notch get it fixed right at poway valley collision 14211 garden road in poway check powayvalleycollision.com dana landing in mission bay is the one-stop shop for a great day on the water this is mia come see me and our expert staff for everything you need for your next fishing trip food bait tackle beverages and more our tackle shop is certainly one of san diego's finest We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna and people that can help you get set up right. We also have Dougie, one of the best reel repair guys around. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the best rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. We now also have Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, both fresh and saltwater tackle, right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle take 94 to Broadway and Lemon Grove. And Dana Landing is right next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check danalanding.com for more details. When you want dependable service for your outboard or a new or used boat, your first choice should be h and Marine at their new location, near where the 5 and 805 freeway meets. North County, Central, or South, the new h and Marine is near you. They also have added an amazing lineup of boats for both fishing and pleasure cruising, like Barletta and Godfrey pontoon boats and hurricane runabouts, all on display. Defiance fishing boats and many used boats are available, too, along with Yamaha and Mercury outboard sales and service. Speaking of service, Jeff and his crew have you covered. As a factory-authorized Yamaha and Mercury Service Center, H&H Marine will be sure the job is done right. They have Blue Water Bay Tank, both cells and expert installation, as well as Tacticat inflatables. The perfect tender for your boat. For outboard cells and service, pontoon boats, fishing boats, and bait tank systems, check out H&H Marine at their new location, 10685 Roselle Street in San Diego. Check HHMarineSD.com. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find a location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. All kinds of great fishing. We got a catch report coming up. And boy, speaking of that catch report, it's not just about low, low prices for your car or truck. 
or your trailer boat at Summit Gasoline in San Diego at the Sports Arena. You can also get your California licenses 24 hours a day. They have beer, soda, snacks, 100 pounds of free ice with a minimum of 35 of gallon ice. purchase. Uh, Summit Gasoline. Make sure to stop in, say hi to Martha and their killer staff. They're so much more than just lowest prices and free ice. It's an easy in and out pull through with your boat trailer at Summit Gasoline in San Diego at the Sports Arena. Now, I have a, I, I, I have heard the rumor that you know, if you just go in there and you need ice for your cooler for your holiday party or something like that, and you tell them, listen to Let's Talk Hookup, they're just going to give it to you. Isn't that crazy? So just ask Martha. I said, hey, we hear you on Let's Talk Hookup. Can I have some ice, please? Any chance I can yeah, here you go. Bit. Yeah. That's but, pretty cool. But I've gone in there, to, you know, and maybe didn't realize I wasn't going to be able to get the 35 gallons or yeah. whatever it is. And, and I've purchased, and it's $5 a sleeve for 25 pounds or 20 pounds. Or, whatever. I mean, it's or less. Cheap. Yeah, like yeah. $2.99. $4 think, yeah. or it's something. I don't cheap. know. It's, it's yeah. so worth it. But it's, Anyway, yeah. they'll they'll take care of our let's yes, talk. just man. mention you here on let's talk hook up. They're going to take really good care of it. Just go there and take advantage of those really low gas prices. Like a guy I know, Captain Frank Lopresti from the Royal Players, goes fills up at Summit Gasoline. Right, hey, Frank? Hey, Frank. That's what. I'm, that's where I go to get my fuel all the time. They do an, an excellent job. Over. They're good mm-hmm. people and they support the fishing industry, and that's a, that's an important thing, right? So I'm going to guess I right. know why you're calling, because we heard from Mike on the tribute that they're biting on the Polaris Supreme. Yeah, they're biting on the Supreme. Mike had a beautiful catch, as you well know. Uh, Aliar had 48 fish last night, uh, <laughs> which, as you know, is limits for the night. All 50 to 90 pounds. It's that Crazy. nice or great a fish. And, you know, he's an awful long ways from San Diego, though. It's a long trip. I, I, I don't think you can make it. It's about 40 miles. Oh, <laughs> my. So cool. So, so awfully good fishing to be had for those that want to go. And uh, Roy on the Royal Players coming up with a very, very nice trip on his seven-day trip. And the last thing I want to mention is Rick and Brandon and myself – or on an El Salto trip in April that has one opening for somebody that might be interested, okay? Oh, that sounds we, like a good time. We were talking El Salto this morning, and uh, Ricky's pretty fired up to go with you, Frank. And uh, gosh, to go fish, uh, that, and it's, of course, at Billy Chapman Sr.'s uh, Lodge, who you turned us all on to that great lodge and uh, small capacity and stuff like that. And you're only taking like 12 people too, right? No, actually, we got 14. Oh, big deal, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the thing uh, is... We only really we only have thirteen right now. We do we we are looking for one more person. So the all they got to do is call the tackle store and talk to Rick, or call uh, my office and talk to me. The thing that's so cool about this trip too is it's just us at the lodge. Yeah. You know, it's just our group of friends, and it's a great group too. A lot of fishing guys, a lot of buddies, and it, it's just that. You know, you're not you know you're not one of. 50 or 60 people like everybody eats dinner together family style good fishing you know you're they're around the big table bsing about you know well brandon had a backlash and i lost a big one and it, it's just a really fun atmosphere it's great fishing and billy chapman seniors lodge is such a it's my favorite part about the trip it's such a familia style of a trip and you know you leave great buds with everybody we're gonna have a great time and uh i, I just can't wait yeah one one spot available that somebody wants to come down with us it's so, gonna be a lot of fun so just call frank in the royal players office or call rick in the uh tackle shop and grab that spot how much is it frank well it takes pardon how much is it uh god what it, it's two thousand yeah, dollars two thousand so dollars for how many actually, fish uh, we're gonna do. I believe it's I'm three a, days of fishing plus the half on the. So on the three and a side. half days of fishing. I believe. No, so. no, 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 no. It's four and a half. Oh, four and a half. Four, four, four and a half. half. Hello. That's for right. That, for that price. We wow. get there Monday. We you fish Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and maybe a half. Uh, let's see. You fish Monday afternoon, and you fish Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we come home Saturday morning. Wow. It's going to be an awesome Incredible. trip. That yeah. sounds great. And to go fishing with Frank and Rick and Brandon and the whole crew there, that sounds fantastic. Well, how about the Player Supreme? Are they going to keep running, Frank? Well, he's, he's in for a couple of days, and then he's got the five-day Christmas trip. And then, no, after that he's going into maintenance and uh, get ready to start running again in March, middle of March. Wow. What a, what a great season for Ali R and that crew. Busted their butts and had fish the whole time. What a what a great run those guys had. I'm sure you're really proud of that operation, Frank. 
Oh, I am. But, you know, the one thing I was talking to Tim, Tim Ekstrom this morning, and there's a good chance if the weather's right, he will be scheduling some day and a half trips, okay? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I like one it. Of those. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Frank, sure appreciate you, and uh, Merry Christmas to you and Kathy, and, uh, and we appreciate you joining us this morning. All right. Thank you very much for hearing me out. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks, All right. Frank. Cool. All right. Well, hey, with that said, let's continue with our catch report. Head on up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man. Captain Brian Willie is on the line. What's up, Willie? Hey, good morning, guys. What's happening? How are you this morning? We're having Great. fun, man. Good morning. How are you, Willie? Good, man. Gosh, good, man. Good hearing Allie are just doing as good as he is, Ooh, man, you know. man. Crushing. Seeing that kid grow up at Dana Wharf, you know, all these guys that come from Dana Wharf and go on to these, these other careers, it's just awesome to see and to hear. So stoked for him. No doubt, He's man. doing Pretty well. Cool. Well, hey, typical December week for us on the water, you know, light loads, beautiful weather, you know, just our water temp's 58 to kind of 60 degrees. Holding pretty steady there along the beach, but uh, half day stuff for us, pretty much uh, for those guys that centered on that sheephead fishing, uh, it's been very good. Thirty to sixty fish, kind of like that on a half day. Those guys bringing the uh, exotic baits like the shrimp and the clam, certainly uh, having the the better shot at that stuff. Uh, sliding egg sinkers and reverse dropper loops, I'd say, were the best setups for those guys. And then the bass action, believe it or not, was pretty good too. You know, not a ton of keeper fish, but there's action on the live sardine. And the cut bait, you know, the, the bait that we have right now has just been sitting and curing in the receiver, and it's been beautiful. Nice mixed size sardines. So the smaller the smaller live bait's been catching that bass. And then uh, three-quarter day, uh, again, out in the shallow water rockfish program, good fishing uh, on the days that we were able to get away from the dock. Uh, plenty of boccaccio and reds for those guys fishing the jigs. And then the angler is going the bait route, you know, have nice white fish and sculpting on the bottom. The hot ticket this week, Rick, you'll dig this. Um, was a fluke fish with those Gamagatsu spring locks twisted into it. You know, guys would rig those like almost a drop shot style, and uh, we're whacking the reds and the grouper on those things too. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. Setup. Yeah, way cool. Twisting that in there and going for it. And yeah, that that spring kept those baits on the on the line. You know, you catch a handful of fish on one bait. So that was kind of cool. And then uh, you know, just good fishing out there in that deeper water. So uh, we're stoked. Good week. We are getting close to kicking off our uh, halibut derby. That'll start in January. That'll be our fifth. Annual halibut derby. Believe it or not, I can't believe it's been 15 years, man. So uh, we'll get that rolling in January, and that'll run through uh, the end of May. And then again, just a reminder: kids are out of school. Kids fish free in December with two paid adult fares. So jump on that deal. That's a smoking deal. No doubt. Get those kids out there during their uh, winter break. So give the landing a phone call here at number nine four nine four nine six five seven nine four. Of course, you can check us out on the web too at danawarf.com. Willie, as always, a great report. Glad to hear still good fishing going on. I love how you guys always get so creative finding the killer way, soft plastic fishing on those big ones. First the sculpin rig, now this fluke rig. I just, yeah, you're right. I totally dig that kind of stuff. You guys always do such a good job at Dana Wharf. Uh, great fishing, and like I say, take advantage of the kids gig. If some uh, One more time, if somebody wants to uh, grab one of those spots, free, uh, free kid spot with two paid adults, one more time, shoot us the phone number. Cool. Number here, 949-496-5794. You can book it online, too. It'll give you that discount option if you book online. And uh, that'll do. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Right I think on. I have... Uh I have a couple weeks off, huh? Coming yeah, up. Yeah, yes, you have. Uh, yeah, no, no show. That's well, actually, right. we'll have a show, but it recorded uh, Christmas and New Year's and Day. Year. So yeah, you, right. we'll see you back on the air. Uh, that would be the uh, January eighth. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, yeah. Merry, right Merry Christmas and Happy, Happy New, New Year's, Year. buddy. See you. Thanks, Willie. guys. Have uh, good holidays and good vacations and all that good stuff. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. You yeah, too, bro. Sounds good. Appreciate that. Hey, we're going to take a real quick break, and when we come back, we got the surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, standing by Corey's favorite report of the show. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Are you passionate about fishing and the great outdoors, but not quite sure where to go? Look no further than Queen Charlotte Safaris in pristine British Columbia, Canada. Hello, this is Valerie Holbridge. There's so many reasons to join us on your next fishing adventure. A few of the highlights are fishing in protected, calm waters. Very important. Quality Chinook salmon run all season long. After you've caught your salmon, we're going to go out for the great Pacific halibut, lean cod, rockfish, and dungeness crab. Our beautiful lodge overlooks Shingle Bay and 
transit, and it's so easy to get to. Fly from almost any airport into Vancouver, and then on to Sandspit. Fish processing, your fishing license, your gear, all included. Just bring that fishing arm and that smile. Let our chef pamper you with amazing meals, while our staff gives you wonderful hospitality, all included in your Queen Charlotte Safaris package. Give me a call on our toll-free number one eight seven seven eight one five two eight nine two, or go to our website qcsafaris.com. When I get back to the dock from a fishing trip, I need to get caught up. And your San Diego County Ford dealers have a perfect solution. The Ford F-150 truck with an available interior work surface to put your laptop, paperwork, and more. This is just one of the many useful features Ford has built into this amazing truck. Get behind the wheel of a Ford F-150 truck with an available interior work surface. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer to learn more. They'll be glad to hook you up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Command the road with built Ford Tough trucks. Gear up and head out in a Ford SUV. Or check out Ford's adventurous new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you by you. Or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores. Where the future is for everyone. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hook Up listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisherchargers.com. Shimano has done it again. An amazing lever drag two speed reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2, the extremely durable high performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth ultra wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish fighting machine. Its rigid Hagani body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. Plus, a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20, and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at a more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and dependability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. 